Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have introduced a new kind of Pokemon that are stronger and larger than the ones that you might typically find in the wild. If you have been making your way through the story paths in the game, at some point you probably have encountered these Titan Pokemon. While you can't catch these during your first encounter, there is actually a way to add these to your party. The bad news is these Pokemon will no longer be the giants that you previously faced, but there still is plenty of benefits to catching these former Titans. They're going to be the biggest size that the species can be and their stats will be near perfect. To go along with this as well, you're going to get the title of former Titan. Now, if you just finished defeating one of the five Titans in the game, you're going to have to wait a full day before making your return to catch them. While you can catch and find these Pokemon in the world, this specific encounter is going to be different than your standard wild Pokemon battles. When you try to throw a Pokeball at them or run into them, you're going to see that nothing's going to happen. Instead, what you need to do is walk up to them and interact with them with the A button. This is going to be the way that you initiate the battle. It's also probably a good idea to save before initiating this battle and make sure you turn off the auto save just in case you accidentally make them faint, so that way you can still restart and try this over again. I'm not sure if this is a one-time catch, I haven't seen any info that says otherwise, but better safe than sorry. Now that we got that out of the way, let's start catching these former titans. I'm going to be doing these in order from the lowest level titan to the highest level. That being said, our first catch is going to be Cloth. Okay, Cloth is going to be found at basically the same place that you found at the first encounter. You're going to start at South Province Area 3 Watchtower. And we're going to be making our way over to the Herba Mystica Cave. When you make your way to the entrance to the Herba Mystica Cave, on the right, there's going to be a skinny path leading up to the mountain. If you follow this path, you're going to find the former Titan standing in your way. This one's going to be level 16. So even if you just started Path of Legends, so long as you can defeat this the first time, you're going to have no issues being able to defeat it and add it to your party. The next Titan that we're going after is Bombardier. You're going to find this Pokemon near the base of the mountain where you first encountered it. The first stop is going to be the West Province Area 1 Central Pokemon Center. From here, we're going to be taking the skinny path up to where the boulders were falling, where you first encountered this Pokemon, and you're going to spot the former Titan just hanging out right there where this path opens up. This one right here is going to be level 20. Okay, now that you caught that one, let's move on to the next one. This next Titan is probably one of the more goofy looking Pokemon. It's Orthworm, and oh man, they really thought outside of the box on that one, didn't they? This is like the Flamigo Pokemon which is just basically a flamingo. There's not really much to it, but I, th I think I'm getting carried away here. So the former Titan is found next to the East Province Area 3 Watchtower. If you fast travel to the tower, you're going to find a pit next to this tower. From the Watchtower, let's make our way into the pit. And it's always really easy to spot which one is the Titan, just because it kind of sits in place and doesn't really do anything. This one right here is going to be level 29. The next Titan is probably one of the coolest ones, because this is the earliest Paradox Pokemon that you can find without making your way to Area Zero. Okay, so where you're going to head to is the Asado Deserts. There's a waypoint right there that you can go to, and he's going to be found relatively close to where you first found him. I have a marker on the map so you can kind of get a general idea where to find him. So I'm just going to start at the Asado Desert Watchtower waypoint, and I'm just going to make my way over to where the marker is actually discovered this accidentally. I didn't actually know that you could catch these Titan Pokemon. What happened was I was trying to do a raid battle and I ended up spotting this Pokemon. And it was weird because he was just standing in place, not really doing anything. So it was also the first time I ever saw the Paradox Pokemon in the game. And after seeing that, I decided to kind of look into this a little bit more because chances are if you could catch one, you can catch the rest, right? And this one is going to be level 45. And for the final Titan, we have Tatsugiri which is located exactly where you first found it, at the edge of a small tiny island located on the eastern side of Casaroya Lake. You're just going to be making your way to the smaller part of the island, and our former Titan will be still sitting in the same spot it was before. Since this is the last Titan, this one's going to be the highest level out of all of them, level 57. Alrighty everybody, that's going to cut it for this video. Hopefully this helps you out even just a little bit. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.